Every year, you want to be like Torval and Dean. You think, do you know what? I'm going to go ice skating. I'm going to be an Olympic champion. Yeah, if only. There's no chance we can help you with that, but we can help you find the best places to go ice skating this Christmas in London. So stick with us, because here comes the first one. Yes, it's Somerset House. Now, if you fancy coming down here, the ice skating rink is open until the 15th of January next year. So you've got a bit of time to come and do it. Adult tickets cost from £10 to £22, and that depends on when you go because they've got a peak and off peak. But if you go to their website, you'll find out a lot more information there. Their website is somersethouse.org.uk. As you can tell, it's got a big champagne sponsor and for a destination to go ice skating, this is really beautiful with all the buildings around. And also this has been going for some years now. So it's well worth coming down, come and enjoy. And also if you're not skating and you're coming with the rest of the people, there's plenty of areas around in which you can view. Plus, as you probably noticed, there's a champagne bar as well. If you're coming down, the nearest tube stations you need are either Waterloo, just on the other side of the bridge, walk over Waterloo Bridge and you're there, or alternatively, come down from Holborn. For our second ice skating video, you may be looking at this and going, wow, this must be out in the stick somewhere. It's not, it's brand new, like everything else is around here. It's the regenerated Battersea Power Station. Yes, we're here for our second ice rink venue. Like so much of everything over here, this is the first year that it's been here. And this is Glide. Now, if you want more information, it's glidebatterseapowerstation.co.uk. That's where you can get more information about the ice skating. Also, the little village that they've got set up as well, sort of Christmas village, and also a lot of the times and the ticket prices. Now, if you're thinking of coming down here, it's open during the weekdays, Monday to Friday, 10 a.m. to 10 p.m. On a Saturday, it's open from 9 a.m. to 11 p.m. So there's plenty of time to come down here. It's closed on Christmas Day, but it is open on Boxing Day. And here's one for you. If you fancy falling over and getting bruised on New Year's Eve and it's not alcoholic related, then it's open until half past midnight on New Year's Eve, stroke New Year's Day. Adult prices go from £12 per ticket, that's for all skaters aged 13 plus because there's always that sort of, okay, where does child and where does adult start? And for children, prices are from £8 for children under the age of 12. Oh, and by the way, penguins are available both for adults and for children as well, well mainly children, but hey, if you see them sitting around and it's going to help you do it. Now, those igloos that we showed you at the beginning, you can hire those as well from £15 per person for groups of eight, and that's for a 90 minute hire. So there you go, why not go all out and have a great time whilst you're at it. And also you've got a bit of fun fair here as well. Now this ice rink is open and in operation until Sunday the 8th of January, so you've got a bit of time into the new year. And to get here, it's now so easy because they've opened the Northern Line and you go to the Battersea Power Station on the Tube. How easy is that? Oh, of course, you can also arrive, if you really fancy it, by Uber boat. Yes, that also stops right by the ice skating rink. Now, the next venue for our ice skating rink is beautiful. So if it's the National Maritime Museum, we must be over at Greenwich. Yes, we are. We're on the south side of the River Thames, and this is absolutely beautiful. So why not come over here, look around the museums, and then come on the ice after? under the gaze of the Greenwich Observatory up on the hill. And we've got a video on that previously, which I put in the top right hand corner. This is another ice skating rink, which is open until Sunday the 8th of January, 2023. So another one you can come and do early in the new year. Now, it's another outside ice skating rink. And as you can see the time we visited it, yes, there are people on there, but there aren't many. Ticket prices start from £16 an adult and £10 from children, and the opening hours are 10 a.m. in the morning till 9 p.m. at night. To get here, it's really easy. You've got Greenwich Station, you've got Cutty Sark on the Docklands Light Railway, and you've also got Mays Hill Station. And here's another one you can arrive at by boat. Yes, it's Greenwich Pier. What I also love is you've got plenty of space for people that want to come and watch you as well if they're not taking part in the ice skating. Right, for more information, you go to rmg.co.uk and everything's on that website there, including getting tickets. For our next ice rink, we go all weather because as you can see, it's got a roof, unlike all the other ones. 
Now, certainly having the roof is one major part of this because you know what the weather can be like in the UK. So at least you'll go skating and not get wet. Plus, you've also got the sides open, so you've got great ventilation going through, so it still makes you feel like you're outside. Not only that, but unbelievably, this is here until the 25th of February. I can say that again, the 25th of February, 2023. So not only can you come down here for Christmas, you can come down here for New Year, you can come down here for Burns Night, you can even come down here for Valentine's. Wow! And pancakes, all the rest of it as well. Not quite summer though. Getting here is extremely easy, of course, because it's on Canary Wharf. It's a two minute walk from Canary Wharf Station, which is covered by the Jubilee Line uh, and also the New Elizabeth Line as well. Like most places, the session time is at 50 minutes, which gives you some great time on the ice. And if you're doing well, that time will go quick. If you're not doing so well, that will go for a long time. Now, if you've got children up to the age of 12, then it's £13.50 per ticket. And for adults and teens, that's 13 years above £17.95. There's plenty of space all around as well if you want to come and watch people taking part. Plus, they put bars up as well at both ends so you can go and have a drink whilst you're waiting as well. Right, for more information, you want to go to icerinkcanarywharf.co.uk and they've got all the details there. And our final ice skating destination is here at Hyde Park. It's Winter Wonderland, and it's the biggest outdoor rink that there is in the UK. And as you can see, there's penguins, but also as you can see, it's bonkers. They seem to let everybody on the ice. Now you need to book tickets in advance, or you can turn up on the day and hopefully get some tickets if there's some free ones in the session. But as you can see, when compared to the other ice skating rinks, this is packed. Now you have to pay additionally on top of getting into Winter Wonderland and the information you can find is at hydeparkwinterwonderland.com. It's got all the information on there, including booking your ice skating session. They're the five key ice skating rinks around London this Christmas if you fancy having a go. And that's it. You could be like Torval and Dean. You've got to start somewhere. Right. If you haven't seen our video on Hyde Park, where we've shown you Winter Wonderland and the ice skating rink already, I'll put a link to that up in the top right hand corner. So click on that. I'll see you in there.